you know, they're talking about Borealis, Morgelians, oh, they're so holy. And then there's people who have this shit, who need their help because they're allegedly the only ones in Germany who does this Borealis shit. Then you have to be rich to go there. Yeah? When you're middle class, then you have to wait for an appointment, if you get one at all. When you're poor, I've seen that in one of the commercials, you know, then you die. Isn't that cool? Wow. You know what? How about cyanide, you know? Cyanide capsule, you know that stuff? You take it in and within 10-15 seconds you're dead. I would like to have one, you know? I would like to have one, just in case, you know? Yeah. But that is probably a suffering as well. Everything is a f suffering. You get healed is a suffering. You may get healed. Death is a suffering. Buddha said, you know, before you may get um, illuminated, illuminated, you have to suffer in your life. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Buddha. You know, I'm there. I'm getting there. Uh, I, interestingly, those Buddha, that Buddha guy and so on, when he was born, just like Jesus, you know, they were all rich people. They were all prince, kings, you know. How come? Think about it in the Bible. A baby gets born somewhere in Israel <clears throat> in a barn, very poor conditions, and suddenly come three kings on three camels. From one he gets a very expensive perfume, from the other one he gets gold, and from the other one he gets uh, who knows what. I don't know anymore, you know. Um, is there something wrong in this, this, this kind of fantasy, you know? Why don't they do it like it was supposed to be? This king was born. Hmm? There was no barn, you know. Hmm? What else? Yes, that's generally it. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to show you this stuff here. This is, may not show a lot, but in this in this uh, thumb, you know, I had to go really deep, you know, like something pushed me to do it. And there are so many large blisters. Like I was really... I felt like a back hole, you know, these, these, these tractors, they have these signal bank, you know, that's how I felt when I went into it, you know, and there were some real big spaces in there, you know, and then I had to recheck it, you know, and there were a little bit more, it was, it was similar, like, crunching on glass a little bit, you know, it was, the paint comes later on, and now I have to make it wet to get this off and to use some, some, so when they are getting bigger and bigger, then that's frustrating, you know? And uh, and there's so little help out there, and the government doesn't give a shit about it, you know? I've, I've read even people who have this Borgelian sister syndrome. Now, there's another one called it differently. This doctor who saved this other woman here, it, uh, it, uh, it said that... Um, it had something to do with her teeth. When people get their teeth done and they put uh, specific, specific kind of fillings in there or materials, then that causes the Borgalians. Borgalians, Borg, Morgalians, you know. But Morgalians may also be caused through insect bites, you know. They, they get in, uh, infested from somewhere, they bite you, and suddenly you get those Borgalians as well, you know. I don't know how it happens. I know that I did my anorexia and then I noted it in my calendar back then and then suddenly they were there. I don't know what I got from a insect mosquito bitten or it was those those uh, ticks that bite me. Back then I didn't show anything that there was an infection, you know, interestingly. The doctors must wait a month until they see an infection. Well, then it's too late, isn't it? You can do it already over a blood test within less than 10 minutes when you go to a private practitioner. Hmm? They show you that on a monitor or on the computer, your blood tests <clears throat> in color. Uh, here, Borealis, you've got it. Let's go and start healing. Here, the medication. No. You go to my doctor, you have to wait at least a month to make sure that you have it. Uh, to be hooked on medication for your life. So, uh, I'm not going to commit some suicide yet, and ne not at all, maybe, you know. 
but this is getting to me slowly. It's a nice thing to pick them up out, but okay. That's so here's the one thing again, which isn't so bad. It was just something bothering there, and then the real bad cluster was here, right? It's not much shown there now, you know, but last night it was quite deep. And, uh, you know, that was, it's right there, right then. Right where's the bend. And the other one is, the, um, here's my, my digging tool for my skull. And this is, guess what, my right hand? Yes. And here, this one, I, that was only a crust, but I had to get rid of it and there was some some little blisters that are strewn around not so bad but under the microscope there may be some visitors there already again and here this is where africa used to be right yes that is where africa continent used to be uh, there were also some blisters but uh, not as deep as the left one was you know so now comes the face the pain face you know they all day long this is the left one that doesn't look deep but you know here this is a soft area and it goes quiet it went one it was it went quite deep you know so And on my skull, there's a lot of stuff happening there, as usual again, you know. The, the wound is uh, moistening and so on. Okay, that's it. Wow. This keeps on stinging here, my right pointing finger. Keeps on stinging as if there's something in there, like a cactus spleen or something. Right there where the fluid is, I keep on... Um, trying to get something out what may be in there this is the other tweezer <clears throat>